Merry Christmas, one and all. Welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, and today, a nice Christmas special for you all. We're going to have a look at my five picks for altcoins to hold for 2024. Now, whether that's to accumulate or to hold for the long term, we're going to have a look at my five top picks for 24. Let's get straight on into this one. Now, these aren't going to be, you know, mostly unknown altcoins you guys know in my preference and of course we are going to start it off over here with polygons matic now i do expect polygons matic to do phenomenally phenomenally well in the next bullish market and of course i am looking to pick up polygons matic a little bit lower now of course we can see on the chart here targeting 31 cent with a possibility of 23 cent on binance's weekly chart but of course we do also have that lower time uh, that lower target 18 to 11 cents should we see those prices come down here well we have a fantastic opportunity to be getting down to here now what we're going to do for the purpose of today's video we're going to look at this macro outlook and the possibility the the pathway for it to get down to there so what we can see on the charts here is this yellow a b and c structure where we can see we are looking for another five wave move to the downside here in this c wave if we could actually draw the correct pattern on the charts i promise i have not been drinking yet on this christmas day secret told guys this is actually recorded in advance of christmas day so yes we are also looking for this further five wave move to the downside looking to bring us down into the c wave area between 31.04 and 23.64 where of course we can see this move would come down to retest that current bear market that we have set here of 31.6 a fantastic opportunity to be getting into here now the bigger c wave target area down here between 18.35 and 11.07 well of course that is the bigger uh, move we have the potential of playing out here in this a b and c structure so i'm not taking that one off the table it is still a possibility but what we can really see on the charts over here is this fair value gap from the 20 uh, from march 2021 this one coming between um, the lower end of 25.4 yeah, and the higher end here of 34.45. Filling out this fair value gap, what we can see would be the move down in the C wave that we are kind of tracking to go on just now. And of course, we would see that C wave and um, the bigger C wave here truncating in its move, which is entirely possible. But of course, the bigger play um, we are kind of looking at going on here for Polygon's Matic is, of course, that next bullish move. So we know the previous bull market, we did see a 42,000% move to the upside for Matic. Could it possibly do this again? Well, let's speculate on that one to start off here. If we could grab on the candle pattern, uh, the bar pattern, there we go. We could replicate that previous bullish market and bring it over, um, possibly bring it over to the current low that we are kind of targeting. Let's take the current bear market low, but we would be looking at a potential $54 polygon Matic. Now we push up from that bear market low where you're looking at a 16,700% return on investment. Now, realistically, let's do this the, the proper way, the way I would like to do it. We know we've came up in five waves in the previous bull market. So once again, we will also be looking for another five wave move for Matic to carry on out. Where this is simple, guys, let's just take that 100% move here. Um, We'll bring over to the bear market low, the current bear market low. Let's actually take it down a little bit lower. Let's take it on to the lower end of this fair value gap here. We can see we're looking roughly, let's call it 25 cents, purely for speculation, if we could really grab this one on. 25 cents, there or thereabouts. Well, that then gives us the potential $100 polygon matic with a higher level up here of $43. Now, of course, if we did come down to meet that lower C wave area, it brings into the expectation that, you know, you're looking at $75 uh, with a higher level of 328. So we have the possibilities for these moves to the upside. Now, of course, the bigger play here would be that A, B and C scenario for that bullish market, which is fantastic. But we know the next bullish market, we are looking for a five wave impulsive move. So guys, that is the first pick of my five altcoins to accumulate and hold for 2024. Let's move on to the second one. And the second one, of course, will come as no surprise to anybody who watches this channel regularly. They know I'm a massive advocate for this project. And it is, of course, Cardano's ADA. Still targeting, you know, a little bit of a pullback to come here for ADA, regularly updating this on the channel. So the pullback within itself, let's be let's be kind to ADA for the purpose of this video, shall we? Yes, let's be let's be kind. It's Christmas Day, let's be kind to this one. Let's target out the 31 um cent with a lower level of 29 cent on this retracement that you know that we are expecting um 
in the pullback here, whether it's the Fed pivot or whatever, that's not what today's video is all about. It's all about accumulating and holding for the bullish market. So a pullback down to here, you know, it's going to be a substantial drop to the downside, 40 to 50%. But we're obviously looking at that next bullish market. So once again, we can take into account the previous bull market for Cardano's era. We did see fantastic growth. So we can look at this first of all on that Binance weekly chart, 17,469% move to the upside. If we were to, you know, look for this in the, the, strat the, the structures here under Elliott Wave Theory, and we target out that lower level, the 29 cent level, well, that brings into the realistic expectation that we are looking for, you know, the further push to the upside. Now, we can see I have got some FIB levels marked on the charts here, targeting out that, you know, um, 15 cent potential for Cardano's era, but we're not going to be that kind of clickbaity here today. Um, I do still think, you know, we are heading for that bear market low. Do you know what? Let's stay true to, the, to my beliefs. I believe we're still heading for a bear market low. And we're talking about that 18 cent level being on the 882 FIB here. So let's stay true to, you know, the, the way I'm looking at the charts. Targeting out that one to one is around about the $31. The 1.236 is $107. We've obviously said many times before a $10 Cardano era, this 786 Fibonacci level, I think would be a fantastic return on investment. So, should we see the price come down to that $18 level and we're looking at the 786 Fib, well, you're looking at a 5,660% return on investment. Should we see this one carry on even higher? Looking at the 882 is, of course, 9,364, 9, almost a 100x project and of course that $30 level 17,000% return on investment now you guys know why we're bullish on Cardano's era we know the structures are playing out here on this weekly and the daily time frame still looking for that correction to the downside that corrective move the last move in my opinion for Cardano's era we also know what is going on on chain about the total value locks how it's continuing to grow how the Cardano ecosystem is continuing to thrive there's so much building on there soaking up the liquidity so Cardano's era in my opinion, has a fantastic future and I will be looking to hold a big, big bag of this for 2024. Let's get on to the third one for today's video. Anyone that is a member of our Discord, our channel, knows that Chris has been screaming about Chainlink for such a long time now, telling us that Chainlink is getting ready to go parabolic and we can see how it is actually starting to play out here on the chart. We can see this breakout from that buy zone that we only just wicked into all the way back here in November. No, it wasn't, it was June. We seen the price come into here. So we seen a one single wick all the way down here. Let's zoom right on into this one. We seen this wick come into the buy zone and sharply jump on out. We seen the low of $4.76.1. So we have obviously seen this, you know, fantastic move to the upside for Link. So far, at the time of recording, 263.87% um, move, which is absolutely fantastic. And yes, you can see on the charts here, guys, I am still looking for this one to carry on to the upside. On the, the, the FIB scales here, we can see, we'll get into this one a little later, the 0 0.236 FIB level acting currently as a bit of resistance with the price just starting to push on up. So I'm still looking for a bit of a pullback on Chainlink and to finish that move to the upside. So in reality, let's just say we're going to come down to that $11 level, whether it does or not, for the purpose of today's video. Um, let's just say, yeah, we're looking for that next push to the upside, capping out uh, on average at $22. Well, we know we will then look for that 50 to 80% retracement of this move to the upside. And you can see we already have it marked out on the charts here. So personally, I am looking to get Chainlink um, back into the project roughly around about $10.80 um, with a lower level of $5.77. The rest are sure, guys, I do not think we're going down to a $5.77 chain link. Once again, we can see this fair value gap on the chart here with the lower level here of $7.69.6 and the higher number on this fair value gap of $9.66.1. I think we have, you know, a realistic expectation or a realistic opportunity to see this price come on back down, perhaps filling out this fair value gap in a corrective structure. Once again, my freehand drawing of moves is absolutely awful. But we have the realistic, we have the expectation, we can see that price coming back down to here, which will be a fantastic opportunity. Once again, that kind of retracement, we're looking at a 50 to 60% retracement, which is a sensational opportunity for Chainlink. Now we can look at the bigger structure, but it's um, you know, kind of playing out here overall for Link. Let's delete that fib off. 
and we know we have that big break to the upside and we can potentially target out the you know the upper levels here for link that's 719 dollars a uh, lower expectation well, not expectation lower target level with the higher target level of 2353 will be a monumental effort to get Chainlink up to there but everything that's bullish behind the scenes go and do a bit of research on that one if you're unsure Chainlink does look very promising so yes let's just say we are going to see the price come back down filling out this fair value gap here around about $7.80 give or take a few dollars well we can look at that path to the upside the one-to-one -one retracement of the $743 while you're looking around about 9,000% return on investment now for clarity I don't expect that to be in 2024 but I'm looking to accumulate as much as I can throughout the year of 2024 I do expect a bullish market coming into you know mid to late 2024 perhaps after quarter one we will see as that one goes on so yeah we can see that one-to-one -one retracement is around about the nine thousand percent move and of course the 1.236 a thirty thousand percent move to the upside a fantastic opportunity and of course we can look at that um, 786 fib level at three thousand percent i do think Chainlink has the potential to go on and you know really surprise a few folk in the space surpassing many people's expectations so yes that is number uh, three on the list for today let's get on to number four So number four should not surprise many folk. We've been tracking this one um, regularly on the channel and we are obviously looking for it to continue um, moving to the upside. Then we will look for that pullback and of course that one there is going to be Solana. Once upon a time I never thought Solana would be a big player in my portfolio but I now believe Solana will go on to do well. So we can see we are tracking this five wave impulsive move to the upside currently moving up in its wave three meeting its expectations for that 1.618 um, move. So we have a couple of options here. We could look to get in on this wave for retracement, which I think is a fantastic opportunity. Once again, this will look like a 50%, perhaps a 60% pullback for Solana. And from there, of course, we will then be looking for that next bullish move. Moving up towards the 200, um, yeah, probably 150 to $230 level. Now, this return itself is not overly exciting. The lower level being a 300%, the higher level being a 500%. But this move within itself, I don't think is the big play for Solana. We'll, of course, be looking for a pullback on this one. So should we see this kind of move wrap out, we will see a bigger correction, is my belief, for Solana's price action. Quite a devastating one, but a, a correction nonetheless. Don't matter about the time here, this is just purely drawn on roughly just for, you know, the moves to play out here. This retracement, the 50 to 80% level, looking at around about the $40 level, the lower end around about $11, I don't think that's the play. But once again, we can see this fair value gap all the way back on the 16th of October, not yet filled out. The higher level of it being $28, the lower level being $23. Once again, I think it would be monumental to see the prices come back down to there. But for speculation, guys, let's just take this one once again. Um, the higher level, and we're obviously looking at that one-to-one -one Fibonacci retracement of that previous market. So we are obviously looking at the first pit stop here um, being the 7,000% move to the upside and the 1.236, where we can see that being around about 25,000% move to the upside in the next bull market. So yes, the target here for myself is to you know accumulate where I can on these pullbacks for Solana. So obviously that first target of accumulation will be the $50, uh, 52 to the $38.87 in that wave four pullback. Then of course the secondary, the big pullback I think we will see in the future will be $42.50 with a lower level, a roughly lower level of $11.86. We'd obviously have to see how these moves to the upside play out, then target out that retracement. But I do believe we will see a fantastic opportunity to you know accumulate a bigger position in Solana itself. So that one there is number four on the list. Let's go on to the fifth and final for today's video. And it will come as absolutely no surprise, I am sure, to many people on this channel once again that VeChain is the fifth and final one for today's video. I think VeChain has the potential to be fantastic um, in this next bullish market. It has the potential to be a leader, in my opinion. Lots of news coming out about VeChain, still lots of news to come out about VeChain, so I think it has the potential to do fantastically well. Now, these moves to the upside, I do not think, are finished yet, and I will be looking to get in on VeChain, filling up that bag on its retracement. So we have a couple of target levels here. Now, let's not be cynical. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, 
screw it, let's talk about the one cent level. That is still my target. Things have not changed. I do still expect to see a pullback. We do have the buy zone here between 1.6 and 1.1. We could have the higher level here, the 1.2, the higher expectation or the higher target of my next move to the downside. I think that is the best one to go from, 1.257 cents. It's a crossover of many things. So on this next pullback, I do think we are still likely to see this next correct corrective move. And for the purpose of today, guys, we're talking about 1.2 cent VChain. Well, we have the previous candles, but we're just going to talk about the moves within themselves. We know this, this previous move to the upside for VChain in its last bullish market was absolutely fantastic. We've seen 17,780% gains. And I think, you know, we could be on the cusp of seeing these kind of moves again for, you know, VET's price action. Bringing that one-to-one -one movement of that previous bull market over to the, the you know, the expectation, my, my target for the next pullback, that 1.2 cent. Well, you know, we could be looking at some very interesting levels here for VeChain. We can actually see I've already done this on the chart here. Looking at that one-to-one -one of $2.33, it would be absolutely mind-blowing to see VeChain push on up to. Now, you guys know that I have been, you know, looking at $1 for such a long time now, and I do still think $1 is a fantastic target level for VeChain to go up to. So if we do take it from that position, we have the fibs drawn on and we're looking at the one dollar level seven thousand two hundred ninety four percent um return on investment with that one to one you're looking at seventeen thousand percent returns so yes i think vchain has that potential to you know really dare i say it, make you a millionaire in the future it's not going to be quick it's not going to happen overnight this is a weekly chart this is talking about the next bullish market and you know what i'm really bullish on doing and vchain is certainly up there i think this next pullback for vchain will be the last significant pullback in vchain's history this is the opportunity of a lifetime to be getting a position on vchain whether it comes down just as low as you know the two cent level or you're looking at the 1.6 the 1.2 or that one cent perfect um, places to be perhaps dollar cost averaging into but overall targeting out that one dollar level for vchain i think you know i really do think it has potential to go on and hit those levels potentially a 100x project if we do see it come down to that um, one cent level you guys know the script by now but those are my five projects for 2024 my five altcoins for 2024 to be accumulating and obviously to help you grow generational level wealth guys let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below and of course it's christmas day i hope you're all having a fantastic day as always guys if you've enjoyed the video for today leave us a present on this christmas day smash that like button subscribe and tap on the bell selecting all of the notifications i do hope you all have a fantastic day today and a fantastic rest of your weekend in fact it won't be the weekend this will be going out on monday a fantastic rest of the day nonetheless guys i'll catch you all in the next one